the great hunter. Well, winter has arrived. Looks like uh, all the leaves are changing. Well, that happened quick. All right, so I don't know if I have a picture of this before. We were just talking to my neighbor, Greg. That big tree that we were just showing used to stand right here. <laughs> it used to kind of dominate this little, this little circle. It was a huge, huge, huge tree. <laughs> so, wow, that was a trip. And I didn't even notice it because every time we walked through, because the leaves had been falling, it kind of changes the landscape anyways. So he is super lucky because it was the, the foremost tree here. So had it gone this way um, and had Greg actually been home when it fell, that might've been a long nap for him. No. Because you could cut one limb and it could be a, what, what sends it to the ground. You know what I mean? That's amazing. So you said he took like what, six trees down yep. beyond it? Yeah, you can see them all laying this way and that way. That is There's two there. If you look in between this pocket, you see the two ahead of it, and then there's two here. So it's oh. like seven trees in one. That's crazy, Greg. And look at the way it... And if it, had, if it had just gone that way, down she goes right on your house. Well, I think... Seriously, with a tree that size, I don't think it would matter which room it hit. Yeah, I know. The whole house would collapse. How big, how big around you figure that thing is? Well, I don't know, two feet, maybe more. So yeah, because that's... That, that is a big, big tree. So conference maybe two and a half, three feet. Because I bet you if I went and did this, I couldn't get all the way around. No, no. That's a monster. I am constantly amazed. I'm sorry, Ted. I'm talking, talking to you too, buddy. Not you. <laughs> constantly amazed at how well we came out from this particular storm. I mean, we, we had virtually no damage on our property at all, which is a huge surprise in most cases. But yeah, you, you never know. I was just watching the news this morning and out in Great Barrington, a community that's a few miles away from us, they always seem to get hit pretty bad. And the golf pro there apparently was putting some stuff away or whatever, and he was in a golf cart and uh, the guy got killed during the storm. And I mean, if you watch the video that I had, I think just before this one, where my wife was coming inside the house, you can see just how fast that storm hit. I mean, it was seconds. So like that poor guy probably got out there to pick up some stuff and, you know, he couldn't even turn around fast enough. There's just nothing he could do. I think it was technically a microburst, but whatever it is, when you're in its path, that's trouble. One of the things I wanted to talk about too was the passing of two of Ted's friends, um, Gunther who was 12 years old, he, uh, he died of cancer and actually passed uh, 12 years to the day that he'd arrived. So Ted, Ted will greatly miss him. And another one is uh, fellow hunter Josie. And uh, Josie went off on a hunting trip and just never came back. It's, it's a rough place where we live and sometimes there's stuff out there in the woods that can get you. And unfortunately Josie was a victim of that.